Libra, this is a quantum frequency reading for you. Let's jump right into it. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of legacy expectation on the table. Um, could be doing research, could be a novice. Trying to learn how to fuel and fund your expectations for your own legacy. Going corporate, Libra. Uh, thinking that you're going to do this the old-fashioned way, possibly. Um, so I'm going to come over, but there's confusion there because there might be some heart uh, dissonance with uh, what it is that you really want to do. What it is that's really your God-given gifts, talents, and abilities. Okay, you could be a little bit boxed in or feeling confined. The Seven of Cups want to come on again. Uh, Seven of Pentacles is, is, it could be that that way is too old school, too old method, growing in too slowly for what you need, for what you want, for yourself, for what you require, for, for what your semblance of freedom is, Libra. Okay, I'm getting that you're wanting a lot of freedom uh, in what it is that you do. Uh, this one to come on again. Uh, Page of Swords here. Uh, there's a lot of onlookers. There's a lot of people giving you attention, uh, maybe concern for you. Um, it could be, again, like objectionable energy, like someone or something is standing in your way. Um, which is interesting. Or again, as the image of the card reads, it could be that, um, you know, that there are a lot of onlookers waiting to see what your next move is. Okay, interested and curious to see what your next move is. Okay, three of wands in the reverse. Um, and it might be that, you know, you're coming out of this, this energy of, uh, you know, attrition where you're kind of hurting yourself by hurting them. So you might just want to let go of this kind of low vibe, uh, frequency, uh, Libra, if it's not for your highest of highs and there's no reason to keep on putting yourself through it. Also the three wands is like it, it not being the end of the rainbow for you. Your ship's not coming in. You not being able to go and set about new horizons. You lost your enthusiasm, or you could be tuning out of your enthusiasm um, with that page of wands. But again, like I told Virgo, like you just got to really know and trust that everything that you have in you and, and around you is, is enough to kind of conquer this level and get to where you want to be. Chances are it's an inside job, first and foremost, how you want to walk through your reality, uh, knowing that, you know, you're whole, you're complete, everything that you want needs to be right here and right now. And that's enough. You know, I, I recently uh, quit drinking coffee. I know it sounds crazy, but, you know, I realized that I was, like, super addicted to coffee. I quit drinking and, uh, and smoking a year ago as well. And that's kind of done wonders for my vibe. Uh, nothing's going to ever be perfect, really. Or, or, hell, maybe it can. Depends on what I tell myself, you know. Maybe I channel, tune into that frequency of perfection. Not in an egotistical way, but, like, in a humble, like, you know, perfectly imperfect kind of way where you're just going with the flow again it's all mindset right there what i just did that's just all mindset right you don't have to fall back on those old outdated ways of saying this is going to be hard you can say it's going to be effortless and easy so five of pentacles is could be struggling financially but i i get more nervous energy than anything more worry and expectation anxiety and again that could be due to something like coffee it could be due to something like energy drinks. I was a big energy drinks guy, and I literally, you know, that you know, I, 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 it's very recent that I've like quit. So now I'm, I'm kind of feeling and realizing what normalcy is, you know, on top of being sober for a year. So it's like, you know, when you're undoing and untethering yourself from all these culturally contrived and conditioned, uh, you know, understandings of what normalcy is them telling you what's normal for you to feel in your life is a big problem there libra and, and, and i feel that you're kind of really resonating with that in regards to your you know freedom whether it's financially or just the spirit of freedom with that page of wands in reverse king of cups in the reverse is a lot of manipulation it could be a lot of covering up of what your true feelings are that individual is sitting on a comforting couch uh, with, a, with a chalice and a, and a pipe. So it could be kind of trying to numb yourself, uh, Libra. Okay. Again, low frequency vibes. Two of Pentacles. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I go the health route? Should I go the um, kind of unhealthy route? But again, what's the influence, right? What's the culture? What's the society? You're trying to be something you're not. You're trying to be cool. 
So you're making bad decisions, you know, or at least that's how it starts, right? Because it's cool to drink, it's cool to smoke, it's cool to, you know, do this stuff, do low vibrational stuff, but really what it's saying is that, like, you know, you got some sort of complex with, you know, authority or your father or your mother or, you know, it's a deeper, you know, psychological Freudian Jungian thing than, than what we kind of understand it to be as, as children, you know, and then we grow up and then you're either struggling with those demons or you're trying to untether and untangle to try to figure out, you know, what you are and who you are, you, you know, what, when you've kind of just, it's always been love. It's always been happy, whole, and complete right here and now, you know, not needing anything else. And this is where true satisfaction, true pleasure comes from internally, knowing that you are worthy, crowned king or queen here in this position, in this status. Mike Tyson said it um, best. He says, you know, a lot of these fighters, and this is a metaphor for people in life, you know, they try to win glory. They try to fight for honor. You can't earn honor or glory outside of yourself. You're born with honor and glory. So, you know, think about that. You know, Mike Tyson, world-renowned, multi, you know, world champion, you know, baddest man on the planet, most feared guy in the ring throughout the 90s. And it's like, um, you know, for that, that, that's a big realization statement that, you know, you can't win honor. You can't, you can't gain you know, these virtues and values and, uh, you know, this, these nobilities uh, or these high honors outside of yourself. You can merely tap into them inside of yourself. It's a state. It's a frequency. It's a vibe. Hence the quantum frequency, you know, aspect of this reading. So we're talking more and more away from the Newtonian old model of attaining things outside of yourself because then I'd be enough inside of myself. And instead, going the roundabout way externally and lying and fooling yourself, knowing that you're enough right here, right now. That's what we're talking about, Libra. That's going to require a lot of meditation, a lot of really knowing that you're good enough and, and, and all that stuff. So um, I'm going to leave it there. If this, if this reading resonated for you, leave a comment below. If you'd like to follow across all social media platforms, um, website link below. If you want a one-on-one -on -one reading, holler at your boy. We could do it across social media, message, text, you know, whatever you want. Uh, live, video, I'm open, available to help you on your spiritual journey. Thank you for helping me on mine with like, shares, follows. If you think someone could, you know, benefit from these readings or any of my readings, please feel free to share my content. I'll let you work for more. Peace.